Ataturk Airport is a major international hub handling well over a thousand flights a day. The attackers detonated their suicide devices at the entrance to the international terminal. Turkey's largest airport has two passenger terminals. In the past year, it served more than 60 million people, making it the 11th busiest airport in the world and the third biggest in Europe. Ataturk Airport is known for having tight security. And uh, there are double screenings at the entrance to the international terminal, then further screening at passport control. The uh, airport also has X-ray machines and metal detectors, and there's a high security presence there. So let's now discuss this further with an aviation analyst, Fabrizio Pali. Hello there, Fabrizio. Thanks so much for joining us. So as we can see, the uh, airport has uh, very high levels of security screening there. So how could this attack then been possible? Okay, well, first of all, we have to define what a high level of security is, because what looks safe doesn't necessarily mean it is safe. So there are a lot of checkpoints before you enter the airport there at, uh, at Antiturk Airport. So they do stop cars and they do search cars. Then you get, as you get to the terminal, uh, they are screening people before they even enter the terminal, and then they're screening people before they go through passport control. So you would think that that would be safe. Now, you can't have a 100% a, a safe airport, but um, my concern with, with a place like Turkey is, are the personnel trained properly? Do they do their job properly? Um, it, sometimes it's a culture issue. I mean, is every car searched? Is every person stopped? And also the other thing would be what technology they're using as well, but maybe we'll go into that a bit later. Well, uh, certainly a lot of questions are being asked at the moment, but what can be said uh, about the uh, you know, airport security um, in other parts of the world, in Europe specifically? I mean, uh, do they have enough security in place and what is enough, you, you, you rightly put it? Yeah, well, I mean, security doesn't necessarily mean you've got armed guards with, with, uh, with machine guns uh, prowling around the, the, the terminal. I would say security in, in most departure terminals is very good. Uh, I think we need to step up security in the arrival terminals as well. In fact, one of the bombs at, at, this, at this terrorist attack went off in the, in the arrival terminal. Also, the car parks need to be monitored. I mean, the, the most vulnerable places I see in, in an airport are, number one, the car park. And, but again, car park, bomb, there aren't many people there. Usually these terrorists want a lot of people to die when a bomb goes off, so they would probably target more the terminal. But, I mean, I would certainly put more security in the arrival terminal. But it's not so much in personnel. There's a lot of new technology out there which I think needs to be used. I mean, like facial recognition software and, and also something like um, uh, nanotechnology can be used. Uh, with, there's a device called the electronic chemical sensors, which can, which can sense at a distance uh, things like explosives and things like that. So I think technology needs to be used more. Um, and real security, usually you don't see real security. Uh, I mean, in, in the form of plainclothes, agents in, in the terminal that, that people can't see. Uh, that kind of thing needs to be done more. But I would say in general, Europe is, is a lot safer than other parts of the world. But again, we saw what happened in Brussels a few weeks ago. Uh, bombs do go off in airports in Europe too. Right, Fabrizio, thanks so much for sharing your thoughts with us uh, here in our International Aviation Analyst, Fabrizio Pali, talking to us.